So, uh, high school's wrapping up. You're excited to go to college. Yes. Things start taking a turn for the worse. Tell me about what, what that was like for you in high school. When I first heard about it, I was like, oh yeah, that's no, no big deal. But then things rapidly started, you know, getting a little bit, a little bit worse. So it was March of 2020. It was, we were about to go on to spring break at my high school. Um, and I remember people were just like whispering like, oh, spring break is gonna get extended. Everything was sort of immediately shoved to a virtual context. So I didn't have a high school graduation because of COVID. I didn't have an in-person ceremony, but I mean, they did the best they can do. <laughs> we had sort of virtual graduation. Graduation was like a YouTube video with my family. Um, you just hear your name called, you walk, I walked across my TV, my brother shook my hand and that was it. And then from there, um, eventually I heard that Pomona was gonna be online during our first year as well. Yeah, my, so my first year on Zoom was definitely very interesting. <laughs> and I think going into college and really, there was no clear transition. It was sort of certainly pretty devastating um, to know that I'd be you know, at home for the full year and unable to swim. That was like a big uh, setback for me. It's a time to be like social. It's your first year. And because you didn't really have that, there was a little bit of a struggle. I mean, personally for me, I was able to connect to a lot of students and we were talking like group chats and Zoom and also like Snapchat. These are now my college people. Um, and I think we made it work in terms of like making relationships and making connections. So what we're doing this weekend is uh, we're the International Student Mentorship Program. We're going on a two-day retreat to Halona Lodge. Uh, it's a cabin owned by Pomona. So yeah, we're going to be taking some of our first year and new transfer student mentees, uh, along with all of our international student mentors, just to spend some time together in the cabin, get to know each other more on a, on a deeper level. We're on our way to uh, Costco to uh, shop for some groceries for our upcoming International Student Mentorship Program retreat. Uh, these are some of our lovely volunteer student mentors. So the retreat has been an annual tradition for ISNP for, since we were basically founded. All right, everyone, we're at uh, Halona Lodge right now in Ottawa, California. This is the cabin. Can't really see much yet. It's really when the international student community comes together. Um, so not just small friend groups within the community, but really as a whole, all interacting with each other, doing things together like cooking, um, playing games, doing activities. So. Good morning, everyone. Today is day two in our ISMP retreat. It's very cold right now, but yeah, it's a very great morning. We have another full day of activities planned. Uh, it's such a difficult thing to move to a, another country for school. Being able to feel like you can still be at home, even though when you're so far from your actual home, I think that's really important. Could you give us um, five minutes and we'll call you? Today we're doing auditions for a play by Terry Gubbard called Our Place, and I'm directing it. Great, can we do it another take? I'm feeling excited. Um, it's very early in the process, so a lot of ideas, and kind of a lot of unknown, so that's the fun to explore. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. it. We'll contact you. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much. Bye. I love the theater building. I love the, the faculty, the staff. It's truly amazing. Like I always look forward, like in my day, to go towards that building and just get to interact with them. And I'm just really delighted that all of you could join us for lunch. I'm particularly excited to introduce two of our students who were recipients of the Oldenburg International Research and Travel Grant. It offers financial support to help the Moli students cover expenses for international research for the senior thesis or senior exercise. I want to introduce our next speaker, Maria Duran Gonzalez. Today is the presentation, the Oldenburg Language Colloquium, and it is celebrating the students that were the grantees for the um, Oldenburg Travel Grant, which funded um, at least my senior thesis. So my story begins in La Comuna Ancestral Las Tunas. Las Tunas is located in the southern Manabí, close to the coast of Ecuador. I actually sent a lot of invitations to people that have meant a lot to me at my time at Pomona, and it was really nice to see that people who are support me and are part of my, I guess, community on campus. The theory behind my research is in the environmental storytelling of La Comuna, the silences in women's testimonios are filling in the gaps. 
Their existences are exposing the gaps in the knowledge production. And it sounds like even uh, your family's here, right? Yes, they are. They're over there. <laughs> My mom has already started crying. <laughs> I definitely want to kind of just enjoy some of the more spontaneous moments. The biggest challenge has been balancing everything. I'm very excited to like see opportunities that may come up. And I just am so grateful for like the friendships and connections I've made here. We're here today. It's our big CMS dual meet. This is one we've sort of been working towards all semester and it's going really well so far. This one is sort of our first big meet uh, with this team. It's a lot of the freshmen's first time sort of racing at like a high stakes competition and just seeing everyone be here and swim incredible races, drop best times at this point in the season is a really great sign. Our team is just so incredibly close-knit. I think we really do just truly love each other and being there and being part of a, like, a joint team, so men's and women sort of supporting each other and training together every day. It's a really great group and the freshmen have fit in so well and it's exciting to see them uh, at their first big meet of the year. We're feeling really excited for the rest of the season. <laughs>